when we tend to think about African conflicts, we tend to think of along the ethnic challenges that we see there. But I think he's absolutely right. I would actually organize it just a little bit differently uh, in three categories, really. I think there's a leadership issue. And under leadership, I would put governance, uh, as he mentioned before. But I would add corruption and I would add security. People need to feel like they have security, that they have quality of life going forward. The other two elements that I would add that I see that worry me for 2014 is security. Uh, I think you've got a lot of challenges where you have connections with uh, terrorist groups in certain regions in sub-Saharan Africa. I think that that is of grave concern not only to uh, people on the continent, but to their friends like the U.S. and others. And then economic development. If you don't address the poverty issues, the resource issues, where people feel like they have a quality of life going forward, then these things are going to boil down to these ethnic co conflicts that we see today. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the other challenges I see is the peace conflict negotiations that we have had thus far. They haven't been all inclusive. And I think that's... Uh, I think there has to be some institutional change. Uh, and definitely the West is obsession of uh, peace troop, uh, peace troops, and peacekeepers is not going to work. I mean, just look at Congo again and the nomenclature and the many different uh, uh, peace missions that we have since you know 1990s is just beyond our mind. So definitely, the UN sponsored, the Western country sponsored uh, missions are not working. By the way, Somalia is also in the same category now with the Congo. And what you're looking at Somalia is a debate now that would extend the Amisom troops in Somalia to the year 2025. So unfortunately, Somalia has been free for 30 years. Prior to that, from 1948 to 1960, Somalia was under UN man mandate. And then now from, the 19, from 2007 to 2025, it will be also under a different uh, mandate. I think the absence of good leadership that you touched with the accompanying right institution and system of governance mm -hmm. is really where Africa's issues lie. Mm -hmm. It's not through missions that we can solve these problems. It's not through analyzing the tribal context mm -hmm. that we, which is, in my opinion, an aftermath. So I think, you know, the leadership concept is a, a concept that we need to really mm -hmm. fathom more and look at it independent, uh, 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 you know, in depthly. Mm -hmm. I think